Wyoming football is, uh, is, is a lot of things. We, we've always had football. And then, of course, it was popularized a little bit more, maybe. That's when it became uh, more intense, more, more passionate. There was, uh, certainly created a, a great deal of interest. The tradition of uh, football and the inspiration by some of our teams and players, et cetera, just continued to uh, get better, improve. So we saw a, a real climax in the state of football. There are a lot of things that probably encompass being a cowboy. I mean, uh, great tradition, pride, toughness, and just uh, overall uh, mental and physical toughness. And I think those are the most important attributes that come to mind when we talk about being a cowboy. There was always kind of a nagging on my part and certainly uh, a desire because of having been here previously, you know, for. Uh, quite a number of years to always uh, maybe want to return. And so I had the opportunity to do that and then we became quite fortunate because of uh, uh, the turn of events, uh, which were uh, kind of bizarre in some instances. But anyway, we uh, started out, we were in the Cowboy Joe Club for a year uh, running that. Then the athletic directorship opened up and we uh, were awarded the ADs Position. I would like to ask that you not fool around with my name. <laughs> uh, however, in the event that uh, you elect to do so, uh, uh, perhaps you could tag it as the uh, road stage coach. Uh, shortly after that, or several months after that, Dennis Erickson uh, uh, left to go to Washington State, and uh, two or three of the trustees asked if I would uh, uh, coach the football team. And so, uh, for the first time in our history, we had both an athletic director and a head football coach. I'm so proud of Paul Roach. He brings a real spirit to Wyoming at a time when we really need an injection of good old pride and energy with the tough times we've had. And Paul Roach does that, and he's got these kids going as a team, and it's great fun to be part of it. Great thrill, great honor. Senator Allen Simpson. The uh, first night game in the history of our program. Surprisingly enough, uh, and a lot of people may not recall, or may not know, we did not at that time have permanent lights. And so in order to facilitate uh, this game, which was put together over the summer because of some scheduling conflicts involving BYU and Thursday night football, uh, we decided to play the first game of the season. And then uh, BYU uh, kind of objected because they wanted to play a night game. And they told us that we didn't have uh, lights and I said don't worry about it we'll get them and so uh, at that time uh, there was a company out of Iowa that uh, provided the uh, temporary lighting system and that uh, enabled us to play the first night game in our history. Welniak with Dawson and Timmer behind him fakes the give wants to throw fires caught touchdown Wyoming third and four Detmer wants to throw looks quickly everybody's covered now he puts it up for grabs and this one is it is picked off the Cowboys with the interception 21 14 Cowboys with a lead the fake pitch and Detmer is dropped the ball comes loose the Cowboys have it our championship game with UTEP at Wyoming the game was played uh, in the early part of November but we rarely played very many November games at that time. We played one, beat UTEP, and as a result won the championship on that day. So that, that is the only championship football game that has been played here at home in our history. A Wyoming football game on Saturday afternoon in the middle of October is kind of like a happening. And it's a, it's a great thing and a great experience.